Today I'm going to show you guys how to embed your use sessions booking page onto your website. The reason that um, everybody is interested <clears throat> excuse me, in knowing how to do this is because it will eliminate this weird URL and it will give you a seamless domain that matches your website that is one, it's easier to remember to send to your clients, but then it also looks a lot better. So I am going to go ahead and just leave this page open and I'm going to open my website builder. I use Show It. Um, I really love them, but you should be able to do this in any website builder. Um, it just might be a little bit different steps, but you should be able to use the same um, tools within your website builder. So this is what mine looks like. I will give you a little preview here. And so this is what my clients see when they're ready to book. And this kind of just shows where I'm already booked at so they can say, oh, I like this location, so let's pick this date. But so then once they click family, it automatically takes them to my family, the individual link for my family book um, sessions. So I don't necessarily have the full booking page embedded. I use the individual links to create these buttons. So all I did was apply these buttons onto my website builder and then attach the links that are with the um, individual session type. So right here, I use these links and created um, individual buttons within my website builder. Um, so that's one way to do it if you want a more seamless branded look. Um, it does take a little bit more time. Like I said, these are all individual buttons, but it definitely um, is appealing to the eye and can help make your page be more branded. But so today I'm going to show you how to embed that full page. So when you're in your website builder, you just want to go and add a new page. I already created one for the sake of this. So here I have a blank page. I'm, um, I named it demo book, but you want to name it whatever you want that backslash last ending part of your, um, your URL to be that you're going to send the client. So like for instance, mine Mine for this page is blissfullyblurred.com backslash book. That's what the name I have. So like this demo one that I'm doing is going to be blissfullyblurred.com backslash demo book. So name the page whatever you want that portion of your URL to be. Or if you have additional settings like here, I can change that if I wanted to. Uh, so you can just update all of these extra settings to, to make it whatever you need it to be. So um, I guess let's jump in now that we've created our new page for, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Now that we've created our new page, I am going to go ahead and come down here and this is where all of my option like tools are to add. So I am gonna go to embed code and like I said, a lot of your website builders have some kind of embed button. Um, this one gives you the option to do a code, but um, Sessions doesn't give us an embedding code. So we're going to come over here where it says iframe URL and that is what we're going to use. So you're going to pull up your booking site. Go ahead and copy your booking page URL and paste it right into that URL and go ahead and hit enter and there you go. It will generate um, your form and I'm just going to bring this all the way down to where it meets my footer and you'll see the scroll bar here that 
is, I mean, sometimes, I guess it's just going to depend on how your website builder is, you can get that to go away. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to make sure my box is still selected, and this horizontal locking, I'm going to hit this one because I want the box to expand the full width of my website in both directions. Now this only um, will apply to the, um, I'm completely sorry, I just lost my train of thought. It will only apply to like the desktop version. As you can see, I'm going to come over here and do your the um, mobile version. So I'm going to click on this box and I'm going to drag this over. I always try to make sure that it touches both or it touches the borders of whatever my other sides are or whatever is below and above and so for this one I normally stretch the mobile over just a little bit so that you don't see that scroll um, and just be really careful that you're not cutting anything off but normally since you're just getting rid of that scroll bar there's not too much to be concerned about um, unfortunately there's no way to like get rid of this it doesn't really flow but um, I have tried like moving it and hiding it under this little tab here but the issue with that is then when you go to a different page the top of your booking is cut off so um, I just leave it and I've just learned that it's not really a big deal so now we're gonna go and we're gonna preview this so here's what our mobile version looks like um, super duper seamless you can see the whole page and it scrolls nicely and this is how I have so now when you see the menu this is the menu for my actual website so then you know they can see this they can go to any of my other pages to get any info that they are looking for I um, well here we'll go to that later so then let's go look at the here is the um, desktop version and again you still have this here but you know what it's not that big of a deal um, so yeah and then you can see it just scrolls perfectly you know so yeah there's that and again it has the footer and everything from my actual website so it just you know they don't even know that you have a separate box that they're scrolling in so yeah um that's how you do that and then oh so i personally have this so you'll see so for mine up here where it says book i do not have book as part of my main menu so i actually leave this hidden and then after I talk to the client and um, get info and I realize that it's something that I can take on, some people like that I want to actually work with this client, then that is when I personally send them this link. I don't have this open for just anybody. I don't like people to be able to book without speaking to them first. So I have this hidden. It's not in my main menu. You cannot just go to my website or anywhere and find this page. <clears throat> I have to personally send it to you or send it to my clients. So that is something you can have it set up to be if you want it public that anybody can book. Just go ahead and add it to your website menu page and that way it's right there and they can click on it. I personally don't have it like that but you can do it either way. And then um, this contact form is kind of how I get started. So I embedded, I created an inquiry session type. So let me show you what this looks like. I feel like I'm kind of showing you guys this backwards, but that's okay. So I hope if you have any other questions, you can personally reach out. But I created this contact inquiry form and embedded that to into my website 
um, I just put some information about, you know, what to expect. They can select their date. Let me show you. I'm sure you guys know how this works, being that you use sessions, but they can, um, you know, once I've trained your inquiry, I will follow up so they can select their date that they're wanting. Um, and, you know, I have a questionnaire attached. So what are they interested in, you know, and all this stuff so that when they book or whenever they fill this out, it comes to my sessions page as an inquiry and then I can see, um, I wish I had an example to show you guys, but then you can see all their information and you can edit and enter enter in what the session type is that they're looking for adjust the price adjust the date and time if needed and then you can send that back to them and request that they complete the booking if you want to work with them you can just email them and ask more questions if you need to so this is where it starts this is when you go to my contact page this is what comes up and they complete this and then once I approve it, it will bring, send them like a cut their custom booking link for their session that we've created through this form. So that's how I have that set up. And then, yeah, so that's kind of like the first step of how I use sessions. And then, but some people, not everybody contact, contacts me through here. Some people message me on Facebook or email me directly through my email so then those people are the ones that I send this link to. I don't require them to fill out that contact form after they've contacted me elsewhere. So then I just send them this and then they can go ahead and select what the session type is themselves and do the booking. So yeah, that is that. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I hope that helped you guys some. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video.